What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Stray Facts A Match Experience. I'm your host, Stray Facts A Match, and I would just like to say thank you guys for tuning in to the content. Drop in the comments down below and liking the videos. You guys are greatly appreciated. I do appreciate you guys taking time out your day listening to what I have to say. You guys just don't understand. But anyways, I wanted to get on here and let y'all know what's been going on with me. Um, my boys were sick last week. Um, my baby boy is still sick this week, um, but he's starting to get a little bit better. My oldest boy had an ear infection. He's never had an ear infection before, so that was something that I had to deal with to get him better as far as, like, his antibiotics and all of that stuff. So, and getting him to, I had to take him to the emergency room and all of that because he woke up out of his sleep crying or whatever. So, that's something that I'm not used to. So, when he woke up crying, he was touching his ear. And I noticed that, you know, I probably needed to take him to the emergency room to see what was going on. So, I did. And got, a t got him tested for COVID and flu, and it came back negative. So we found out that he had an ear infection in his right ear, and he had to get antibiotics, which he had allergic reaction to. So I had to get him some different type of medication. So that's pretty much what I've been doing. Plus, I had to take my baby boy to get evaluated further um, last week as well. So I'm just waiting for the results. So it's going to be coming up next week. So I'm looking forward to that to see what it is that they have baby maybe have seen in my son or whatever because i know that there are some things that he needs some help with and i want to see to it that i get him the help that he needs so getting him evaluated for autism was something that i did last week they had him on a year waiting list but they were able to get him in quicker um and i'm happy about that so then that way when i'm ready to get him off into school he'll always he'll already have the services or whatever that he needs if he needs them um, before he goes in. So that's pretty much what I've been doing as far as like why I've been up, haven't been uploading because I've been tending to my children. I've been having to go to therapies and talk to specialists and stuff like that as well. So that's pretty much what I've been on. And I just recently sent my son back to school Tuesday. Um, I took him to the, mer uh, to the emergency last Thursday. Um, Monday, I had to take him to get him rechecked for his ear. So his ear is okay or whatever. He did finish his antibiotics, the new antibiotic that they put him on since he had an allergic reaction to amoxicillin. And, you know, he's been back in school. So he's been doing a little bit better. But my baby boy, he has been coughing up a storm, um, snotty nose. And yeah, so that's pretty much what's been going on here. But I wanted to get on here and do this reaction to the live that Jasmine did last night about child protective services coming or calling calling her mama so since when do cps start calling people's houses and asking questions instead of coming out as a mandate a mandated reporter if you get any type of call or whatever the case may be if they get a call out about anyone it doesn't matter how many times someone calls on you they have a job that they have to do it's called being a mandated reporter. That means they have to come out and check out the things that have been said about you and check out your children. They're just not going to place a phone call to one particular person to ask questions and not come and see if the kids are in danger or any type of harm. I've never heard of anything like that. I don't know why this girl keep hopping on her talking about some CPS called my mom, but they have yet to came to. She did this before. I mean, I don't know if she's trying to avoid people from doing it, but you can't make people um, not do ignorant shit if that's what they want to do. If they want to call CPS on you, they're going to call CPS on you. As mandated reporters, they're supposed to come out and see about those children. And if they're not coming out to see about those children, then, I mean, I have no understanding as to why you want to let everybody know that they were called. Like, you coming to the internet, letting the people know that you feel called on you is very stupid to me. Because you're always blaming somebody off of YouTube placing these phone calls. So why would you make it your business to come to YouTube to let YouTube know that these people were called on you, but they haven't even shown up at your house, though? Which is very strange. Domestic drug, drug, drug usage. But no one came to your house and just called your mom and asked her some questions. So you're basically saying that it's closed? Without them even coming to your house to check out the children or the environment? They closed the case. I mean, like you're 31, 30 years old. You need to come better with your lies and the things that come out of your mouth, that come out of your face. I mean, because anybody that knows how CPS work would know better than a phone call being placed and them not actually talking to you or come to go check, come to check on those kids. It does not matter if you've been called on a million times. They still have a job to do. They still supposed to come out and check out the environment 
where those children are laying their heads. Not calling somebody where the kids don't stay to see what's going on in your house. They don't. She don't stay with you. She stays in her own house. So she can only ask answer so many questions that this person may have for her. That's it. That's all. But they should be wanting to speak to you and come come to your house to see what's going on in your house. Not only that, showing up at schools, wanting to talk to doctors and all types of stuff like that as well. That's how CPS work. It don't work no other way. They ain't, they ain't placing no phone calls, asking no questions and say, oh, well, someone just called and made this report. So I'm just calling to see. So it's OK. I'm going to close the case. That's not how that works. So I don't understand how somebody that's grown like you can get on here and lie about some shit like that as if like people don't know people that have CPS cases or they may not have, C have had CPS cases in their, their damn self to know exactly how this works. There's no phone calls being placed, but nobody's coming out to your house. That doesn't work like that. Unless this is some new shit they got going on, which I strongly doubt it. If someone has called and made a statement about domestic violence and drug usage in the home where there's children, I strongly doubt they're going to place a call to your mother and not come to your house and knock on your door. Because if they're calling asking your mama questions, then they wouldn't have to call and ask you for your address. She would she would just give it to them so, them so they can come and check you out, period. Now, you done got on here before and said that CPS was called, but they never came to your door. And don't, don't say, oh, because I'm getting called on so much, they know that people are lying on me. They're not going to come. Because you're no different from anybody else in this world that get child protective services called on them. There's protocol. There's things that has to be done. There's certain people that have to be talked. They have to talk to certain people, like the school people, like I said. Not just you, not just your mom, because your mom could not be telling the truth about what's going on in your house or may not know what's going on in your house. So therefore, she can't answer the questions that's being asked. So if they go up to the school, ask the teachers, OK, how do you feel about this student? And does this student have problems here or there? Have you noticed anything unusual or out of, you know, out of the norm? They're asking doctors, you know, doctors, when was the last time this child has been seen or is this child caught up on shot records, records, period, in general? Like, you know, I'm just saying, like, these are the questions that these people ask. And you said her time out, they called my mom, but your mom does not have your children. So make it make sense. It makes none to me. If you're going to get on here and lie, are you going to get on here and try to prevent people from doing what you say they've been doing for you, doing to you this whole entire time that you went on YouTube? Why don't you just get off of YouTube? And then it's stupid for you to come to YouTube telling YouTube that somebody called on you and you're blaming somebody from YouTube doing the shit. Make it make sense. So you're going to come and say, oh, I just wanted to let you guys know that it did not break me. You look so stupid just sitting there looking real dumb. Lying out of your face about CPS coming to your house or not coming to your house, calling your mama about something that's going on in your house and not actually coming to your house to see what's going on. With that being so serious, they're just going to place a phone call. I strongly doubt that. I don't believe that anybody believes that, but your stupid ass, because that's what you want to push. You want to push this narrative that somebody called on you and they did not call on you. Because if they did, they would have been showing up at your doorstep. Not calling your mama to ask your mama any damn thing in regard to your children that are with you. Whatever you got going on in your house, you're trying to avoid that phone call being placed there. That's all there is to it. Let's just be real. Somebody must somebody must have threatened to call CPS. So you decide just, just decided to put in your mind that you just wanted to come on YouTube and just say that somebody actually really did call on you and that they called your mama. So when they called your mama before, they just closed the case up. They didn't come talk to you. They didn't come to your house. They didn't say anything to you because you never touched on that any further because you were lying then and you're lying now. Then you have stupid people in your comment section talking about some, oh, people are just so jealous of your pathetic ass life. I strongly doubt that people are jealous of the life that you live. You are not even happy within the life, the life that you live. Because if you were, you wouldn't be so damn depressed and stressed out all the time. You wouldn't come on camera looking the way that you do talking about some, this is how I really am in real, in real life. And that's exactly why that man is always so called at work. Because look at you. You don't care how you present yourself on camera. You don't care how you present yourself here. You walk around here looking like a big burly beast of a man when you a whole woman. 
And you wonder why he's always at work. So you say, he's at work. He's at work. He's at work. He's at work. He works a lot. He works a lot. And you sitting up there stressed and depressed with those kids by yourself, having to do it all by yourself. And this is what it's coming to. You want to lie about CPS coming out to your house. Girl, bye. Did nobody come out to your house? And you can't prevent them from coming out to your house. If they come, they come. And you have to cooperate and do what you're supposed to do. If you feel like that people are doing this to you and you're tired of it, then there's ways that you can go about it. But you're not going to go about it because you know you know exactly why you're not going to because you'll be putting yourself off in a situation to where you can't get yourself out of. You already know what you be doing and what you don't do that could cause friction for you and your household. Therefore, you're not going to even, you know, yeah. Let's just be clear on a lot of shit. You already know what's going on in your house. So you're trying to prevent from people calling and having them show up to your house. The last video, videos that you have posted uh, miss me with that postpartum depression shit. You're trying to use that as an excuse for your behaviors and as to what you've been displaying on the camera, which we can visibly see as to what it really is. You're being left in that house with all of those kids by yourself and you're being told, I'm going to work or I'm at work. That's what's happening here. You're not feeling it. You're not digging it. It's bothering you. It's keeping you stressed and depressed. And you've been left alone in the house with all of those kids. Let's just be very clear as to what it really is.